guys, welcome to this video. So today I'm going to be doing a birthday get ready with me full glam in lockdown. I did this video last year and it was really fun so I thought I would do it again even though we're in lockdown. So I hope you enjoy the video and if you want to see how I achieve this look, keep watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on all my social medias and enjoy the video. So I'm just going to start with colour corrector. So yeah, today is my birthday. How thrilling. I just thought I'd film a little birthday get ready with me today because I actually had fun I think last year filming it and you know I thought why not do it again even though obviously this year's not really like a crazy celebration I just thought it would be a cute video to do so that foundation was Milani Conceal and Perfect in the colour 08 light tan now I'm just putting on some sharp every time I say that Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair lighten it up because it is quite dark. First I'm going to blend it out on my nose. I'm just going to take my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the colour Beautiful Bronze and contour my nose. Sorry if you can hear any noise in the background. There's like a construction site across the street from me. They're like building new apartments. So it's literally like the sound of drills and paint and what's it called? Um, drills and forklifts and like... Don't worry, this concealer will lighten the shell of my foundation. So yeah, it's my birthday today. I was feeling kind of down about it, just because it's kind of like a non-year. Felt so blessed last year that my birthday happened right before the whole pandemic lockdown happened. And I was like, oh my god, I'm so lucky I had my birthday already. Thank god, I feel so bad for everyone else. Here we are a year later, still in it. But I'm not complaining, I literally know, like, like I'm so blessed and lucky. Like, this hasn't affected me that much. Like, so many other people, it's like, changed lives. I feel like such a dumb bitch time when I talk about anything serious. So yeah, I felt kind of down about my birthday. Like, I was just like, oh, it doesn't matter. Like, I'm just not going to do anything. I'll just, like, chill and, like, it'll just be like, it's just another day. I'm not going, isn't it? I'm really not, like, excited about it or anything. And then I woke up this morning, went into the kitchen, and my housemate, Charlie, surprised me with... I was... I was fully not expecting it in the slightest. Like, had no idea whatsoever. I got up quite early, because on filming days and glam days, because it doesn't happen that often, I like to get up quite early just so I can get glam not too late. Whilst the sun's still up, because it goes down at like four o'clock. I go into the kitchen and she's in there. The kitchen and living room is like fully decorated with like balloons and she's playing happy birthday on the Alexa and she made me breakfast. It was literally so cute. I cried. Damn hormones got me every time. It was literally the cutest thing. I didn't expect it in a better one. I literally like, she's the cutest little thing. I appreciate it so much. So we're just gonna have a chill day. I think she might get glam as well. Order some food. But literally I'm so happy because I was not expecting to do anything at all. So yeah, it's just so sweet. Baby girl. I'm gonna contour with my Milani foundation stick in Coco. I'm gonna try, well, this is fully a lie, but I'll say it anyway. I'm gonna try and not go too ham with the contour today because I've been going a bit overboard lately, I've noticed. I've just not been feeling the best about myself recently. I've been quite down on like, we all go through like moments of it. I've just felt ugly and not feeling myself. But we move, it happens to everyone. I think it's just this lockdown's got everyone feeling down. I'm just literally like in bed all the time, like looking ugly. I hope this lighting is okay. I'm literally just using the sunlight. But I'm sat in front of like this massive window in my room. So the lighting might change throughout the video as the sun moves around, but hopefully it's good. This is the first video I've actually filmed in my new room since I moved, I think. What do you guys think? You probably can't see that much. My camera sat directly in the sun like this, so I hope it doesn't like overheat or anything. I'm literally just getting glam to chill, I'm not doing a single thing, as usual. Just thought I'd get a cute birthday pic, you know, let the girls know it's my birthday. Look at the snow. Oh my god, literally every time I start singing with my camera, my phone makes a noise. It's a sign. She's saying, girl, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Here we go. Blend some of that concealer over my nose contour. I need to clean the back of this mirror. That's so nasty. Huh. 
sorry if it's really loud outside. Out of time. Just using my RCMA no colour powder. I feel like there's no point in me even saying the products I use anymore. Because if you watch any of my other videos, I use literally the same products in every video. I'm so unadventurous. I know the makeup that works for me. So why try anything else? You get me powder everywhere. Oh. Ouch. Oh my god, and don't mind my nails. <laughs> This is actually the most horrendous day I've ever been, I think. I wanted to have long nails for my birthday, but at what cost? They look horrible. So I had them done last time we were out of lockdown, and I expected to be able to get them done again for my birthday, but... Girl, shut the fuck up! Who said that? Alexa, what time is it? This always happens, I get up so early to like, what well, I say so early, I think I got up at like 8.30. Which is early for me, having gotten up at like 3pm every day for the last however many months. But by the time I've got anything done, it's like 11 already. Oh my god, shut the fuck up! I knew this would happen filming. Why is she trying to play? What was I saying? Oh yeah, about my nails. I'm gonna sneeze. No, I'm not. I know my extensions are really bad. I literally just kept them in so that I had some kind of volume in my hair because I just took out my tape-ins. And <sighs> I need extensions to feel like a bad bitch. Sue me. Yeah, so I was hoping to be able to get my nails done again before the next lockdown. But here we are. Guess what, Mimi, I could do. So I tried to infill them myself, because basically, in the last lockdown, in the first lockdown, I had this whole idea to make a YouTube video of infilling my nails. So I ordered all the stuff. It was so expensive in the end, it was more than just getting your nails done. So I ordered it all, but half of it was like from China or something, so it took like two months to come. So by the time it all got there... Oh my god, she's making noise again. I'm sick of it! Who does she think she is? Miss Thing? Miss Mom? Oh. There's some light on me. Oh, why are those lights on? Let me turn them off. I'm sure that made no difference. But in my mind, it did. I did it. Um, I keep getting interrupted in my stories. I'm already such a bad storyteller. Story time! So I was gonna inform my nails myself, order the stuff, with loads of money, didn't come for two months. So by the time it arrived, it wasn't even locked down anymore. So I just went to the nail shop. I was like, all right, never mind. So then I never used it. And I just had all this stuff that I spent all this money on. Guess what? There was another three lockdowns. So this lockdown, as my nails started to grow out, I was like, let me infill them because I have all this stuff. I infilled them. And I did an okay job, like they didn't look great, but they were like better than nothing, do you know what I mean? My thing is always like, after four weeks of getting my nails done, like clockwork. This lighting is pretty strong, I can't even like see my face. Um, oh sorry girl. So like after four weeks of getting my nails done like clockwork, every single time, they start lifting, breaking and cracking. And when my nails lift, they literally hurt so badly. Like, my fingers get swollen, like I can't touch anything with them. I literally have to take paracetamol because they hurt so much. The second they start lifting, my fingers literally swell up to like half the size, it's awful. So I was like, let me infill them quick before that happens again. I did them, and I thought I was saved, but guess what, Mimi? Like, a week later, they all started lifting again. Breaking, swelling, all the usual, and here we are now. But I like, didn't want to take them off because I just wanted nails for my is that too much to ask for? And I should have taken them off. But I didn't. Well, I'm sorry you have to look at them for this whole video. Oh my god, they finished the kitchens in the building opposite. Love that for them. Now I'm going to bronze up using some hula bronzer. such a long story just to say that my nails look like shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really love to bronze that much just because I really have the base of that darker foundation and that's kind of why I do it. Like, I don't like the look of too much bronzer. Like, I feel like it looks patchy and like, but I still like to look really bronzy. So that's why I wear a darker foundation because then you have that base underneath. It's not like that's the colour my face stays. Like, after I've done all my brightening and concealer and everything. I'm gonna do some blush with 
my MAC Peaches Blush. Do you guys get bored of me using the same makeup in every video? Or does it not bother you? Leave a comment down below. <laughs> because I'd like to know if it actually makes the videos shitter. Lately I've been using a lot more blush and less highlighter. Wow, I really put a lot on. Oops. I only really highlight my nose now because I've noticed that Kylie Jenner <laughs> doesn't really wear that much highlighter. She's quite mad and she just wears a lot of blush. So you know me, Cardi B, trying to be Kylie Jenner at every turn, doing whatever I can to <gasps> try and keep up. Is it embarrassing that I want to be Kylie Jenner so badly? <gasps> yeah, I guess. But that's how we do this, how we move. And then some setting spray. I'm back on my all nighter vibe. Oh, fuck. I have two and I always use the wrong one. I want to finish this one first. Try and not go as crazy as normal. Um, yeah. It's getting a bit cloudy now, so the lighting might be changing and all the builders in the building opposite me are just looking at me like I'm crazy now. Hey girls! You! Oh, oh my god, he's actually looking at me. Hey! I can't do it. He's actually staring right at me, I'm gonna kill myself. Ah. He just thinks I'm talking to myself, but you guys are here. He doesn't get it. <gasps> Oh, it looks windy up there. He's probably saying the same thing about me. Why is that crazy bitch with half an eyebrow staring at me? Oh, excuse me? I'm using my Doll Beauty Shine Bright Highlight, which is legit the best highlighter I've ever experienced in my lifetime. Oh, I always fuck it up. Fuck. But yeah, that's literally my favourite highlight and I'm so excited because I recently got to actually work with Doll Beauty which was such a dream come true because they're literally like one of my favourite makeup brands so when they reached out to me I literally was like Oh my god! Who me? I feel like whenever I'm filming I can't tell how I look so if I keep looking up I'm in a staring competition Hey goos! And I'm gonna do my brows off camera and I'll be back! Okay, brows are on and there's music playing in the background now so hopefully it's not too loud for you guys and this doesn't get copyrighted. Charlie broke my favourite tweezers so I'm really upset. <laughs> now I have to use these ones and they don't work as well. They literally don't tweeze shit. Yeah, they literally just don't work. Oh well. My eyebrows are not really perfect. They never fucking are. Um, what am I saying? What am I doing? Who am I? Where am I? I don't know. I want to try a hack actually today. I saw on TikTok. I saw someone using got to be as an eyebrow gel. And I thought, I have that, let me try it. Because I ran out of eyebrow gel ages ago, so I just haven't been using any. But I kind of want to try this. Oh, it's white. Is that normal? Is it meant to be white? Or is it like expired? I feel like I've had this for a long time. <laughs> yes, of course. I feel like that worked. I didn't put too much on because I was scared, but... We moved. Even though it's my birthday, I feel like I'm still just gonna do my basic makeup. I don't see myself switching it up, you know, I just don't see that for me. So, <laughs> I'm using my Adult Beauty Doll Sweet Treats Mod Pie and Mochaccino's palette for my eyes today. I'm gonna use Chalk Drop to put through my crease. I really don't do crazy eyeshadow ever. I'm just not that girl. What else have I got to tell you guys? Oh yeah, bitch. Big news. Big boobs. I'm literally getting surgery in like, I wanna say 25 days or something like that. I'm gonna go and get my hips and my bum done. Something I've been really insecure about forever since I started transitioning. And I'm finally getting it done. I've literally been waiting for so long for this and it's finally happening. I'm a bit nervous about how it's gonna work, what's gonna happen, because it is out of the country. I'm going to Marbella to see Dr. Aslani. And... Hey, okay, I was just telling them about my BBL. Were you? What are you saying? Just that it's like in 20 days, I'm ready, I'm nervous, because it's... I haven't actually said that much yet. But I'm going to Marbella, and because of the lockdown and the travel restrictions, I don't really know what's happening. Hopefully it can still go ahead, but we'll see. I'm trying to get fat for it, which you probably can't see that much except for in my arms. <laughs> and, I've, <laughs> and I've been hiding it on Instagram with a little face tune. I'm going to see if I can take a 
Okay, dude. So I've been trying to gain a little weight, which is kind of hard for me, I know. Everyone is going to fight me. But I've always been skinny, so it's kind of like hard for me to gain like a lot of weight. Luckily, I've been in lockdown, not doing any exercise and eating loads of shit. So I have gained some weight. And even though it's not that much, it's made me feel so insecure, like so quickly. I just overanalyze myself so much. Maybe I'll do a little eyeliner today with my Costa Riche by MAC. Ready, queen? Who are you fighting? Who are you fighting? Oh my god, I love this. Did you get me an energy drink? I guess no. Come on, man. JK. Is that your last one? Yeah. <laughs> no. I know. On my birthday. Not on your birthday. You should have said. Doesn't she look so pretty? I can't take it. I feel like it's kind of disrespectful on my birthday to come into my room looking better than me. Um, I just, I just feel like you're just like, kind of like stepping on my toes. Do you know what I mean? I've got the same sink as us. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? I'm kind of just taking all the brown shades, mixing them together, and smudging it under my eye. Just for a little razzle-dazzle. <laughs> razzle-dazzle. Those are literally my favourite crisps. Why are you eating them then? Wow, that's, that's a great question. I wasn't expecting that question. Okay, thank you. Oh, I've got a good one. Should we do a little food break? Slow-mo ASMR. Isn't Charlie just the hot ass? The fat is. You look so pretty. Thank you. <laughs> I literally hate my teeth more and more every day. The comments are getting to me. Guys, <laughs> leave my teeth alone. <laughs> what are you saying? My phone's just like, Because uh, I posted a TikTok, I was like, about my third nose job. And all the comments were like, um, you should get your teeth fixed first, bitch. Oh. And I was like, okay, well, you are right, but that's not nice. That is not nice. That is none of your business. Oh. Oh. I don't know what happened to my hand. I think I stabbed it with a knife or something. And it hurts. Who's that guy? Who's that guy? Oh, is he looking? Is he looking? <laughs> the straw. <clears throat> we got your tripod as well. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I love this movie so much. I you change the game for all of us, you know. I mean, I'm just here to elevate. I'm just going to be doing with you. I'm going to elevate it. Period. I'm trying to bring, bring it up to my level, level, do you know what I mean? Up that level of catfish. <laughs> Guys, are we catfishers? Oh, oh, don't encourage them, bitch. <laughs> Give me hate. Send me hate. Send me home. Hate me, bitch. There's literally paprika crisps in my powder. Yeah. You did it. Mum did it. Mum. Mum. Mama. Mama did it. Okay, so my liner's not gonna be the best because my eyelids are so dry and flaky from the last time I wore lashes. I don't know what it is, but I think because I have been wearing lashes that much for the last year. When I put them on now, after I take them off, the next morning I wake up and my eyelids are literally red and like swollen to where it looks like I've had an eye lift and my eyes are half shut. Like it's so weird. Now my eyelids are really crusty and I probably shouldn't be putting lashes on. But here we are. And I'm gonna do it! And I'm using this old, crusty Kat Von D liner that I've had for probably years that I stopped using because it was empty. But then... Hey girl! Hi! Hi. Is this the right tripod? Yeah, it's my only tripod. What, for your phone? Oh, you want the phone then? <laughs> I can't do this thing but life without you here with me Cause I'm Dangerously in love with you You set me free I can't help me the way you do me Cause I'm dangerously in love with you <laughs> Oh my god Thank you so much So yeah, the fact that I'm using this old crusty eyeliner is probably not helping So I'm just gonna put on big lashes and hide the mess Basically, I've had this eyeliner for like years and I stopped using it. 
Oh, hi. What the hell? I stopped using it because it ran out. I have this hoarder tendency where I don't like to throw out any makeup because I'm like, what if there's like a tiny bit left in it and one day I need it? Do you know what I mean? But this is the last one and it's literally like empty. So we're just gonna pretend that it looks good. Do you know what I mean? And I'm just gonna like put lashes over it. So the lashes I'm using are Doll Beauty in the Star Samantha. My eyes are gonna be swollen tomorrow. Yeah. I'm gonna overline my lips. This is the Doll Beauty lip liner in Run the World. My overlining has literally gotten so out of hand. I think because I haven't had my lips done in a couple months, I've literally every day I just overline more and more. It's literally like ridiculous at this point, but. I'm not gonna stop. So like to me it's just normal now, but I feel like to other people it might be crazy. And I can never get them even because I overdraw them so much. So I'm gonna put my lashes on. Ignore how bad my eyeliner is, let's just pretend it's cute. And then I'm gonna use the Doll Beauty lipstick in Get Lippy. And then because they are so overlined, and I like it to be really precise, I take a little lip brush. Um, it's the Doll Beauty one again. And I just blend the lipstick into the overdraw. So that's the makeup done. I'm just gonna do my hair and change my outfit off camera because I just clipped in some extensions just for the video because I didn't want to be ugly. So I'm just gonna do my hair properly, put on an outfit and I'll be back. So this is the final look. I'm all ready for a night in my flat, playing board games and eating Chinese food. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on all my social medias and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!